Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to show you how to add a package policy into Epic. So a package policy is a policy written by a carrier that gives each line of business the same policy number. So for example, the auto, home, and umbrella were all packaged and they all share the same policy number. This also applies to commercial lines as well. So if you had a package with a general liability, property, and umbrella, they all share the same policy number. Again, you're gonna add that into Epic as a commercial package. So let me show you how you can do that. So first you start off by going to your client account in Epic. You go to their policy section. And of course you get started by clicking the plus sign to add. In our example, we're going to be using a personalized package policy. So that policy line type is PCK1. Okay, if you were adding a commercial lines package policy, that policy type is CPKG. All right, and as normal, you're gonna start off by adding everything that you have. If you wanna customize the description of this package, feel free to do that. Um, next, go ahead and add your policy number. And then of course your effective and expiration date. Moving on to our structure on the right hand side, always double check and make sure that your agency branch and department support your agency information. If the department needs to be changed, go ahead and manually adjust that. All right, the details under our line of business look correct. We're gonna leave this under our mandatory profit center. Again, assign accordingly if this is for profit center A, B, C, and so on. Next, you'll add your issuing company. We will use National General in this example. Okay, and always check your commission agreement box as you guys know, um, and that's okay if no percentage pulls up here. In this case, it is okay if nothing is populated. Um, and then add your premium for this package. All right, so to move on with our package policy format, we need to click detail. All right, and I'm actually gonna close out this activity and click finish. All right, so when I click detail, the policy did open up for me to add the additional lines of business here. So we can see the section, lines of business. This is where we can get started. Click that plus sign to add. And here we're gonna add the auto first. All right, everything else looks good. Check that commission agreement box. Um, if the agreement is not correct, you know, the first one that populates is not align with this line of business that you wrote, go ahead and adjust that. And add the premium for that auto. And then go ahead and click add to add your next line of business. So now we'll add the home. Select the commission agreement, add the premium, and click add one more time or however many times, whatever is included in your package. Now we're gonna add the umbrella. Add the premium. And that's what I'm gonna add here. So I'll click finish. All right, so we're almost done. But before we close out of this, we have to delete the PCK1. All right, we're gonna delete that line of business. So highlight and click delete. And yes, I am sure. All right, so now that is gone. So now we can see within our package policy, we have an auto, home, and umbrella. Okay, so if you are adding policies for several producers, make sure that you are adding the correct PRBR commission agreements on the back end. I know mine is already defaulted and set up, so I don't need to get into that. So once we're done, go ahead and click the X on our left-hand side. 
Okay, and if we know this carrier sends downloads, we're gonna leave it in process. If this carrier does not send downloads, we're going to manually issue the policy. So in this example, I'm just going to manually issue and click finish. And closing out my activity. I don't need this one open. All right, and there you have it. So this is what our package policy looks like. It does look a little different compared to the monoline policies. So we can see that the package line is bolded. And if we click this little chevron here, we can open up and expand to see what is in that package. So I hope you found this helpful on how to add package policies into Epic.